Hi, I'm Nadal Gibran, Technical Lead for the Census Business Builder. Today, we will discuss Census Business Builder and a new feature that will help users measure a disaster supply chain impact. In this video, we will show you how to use this feature to learn more about the economic sectors and populations that are impacted by disasters. To get to the tool, go to cbb.census.gov. On January 9, 2024, a major storm system hit Rhode Island, prompting a federal disaster declaration in four counties in the state. By mid-April of that year, 882 applications were approved for $4.1 million in FEMA assistance, including housing grants and other storm-related expenses from transportation to childcare. Census Business Builder can help identify the top impacted imports, economic sectors, and products in a disaster area. Not only can this help in the allocation of emergency funds to vulnerable communities and sectors in the event of a disaster, but it can also identify key economic indicators for a particular area. First, select the region view from the CBB dashboard. From here, select the button at the bottom for Create Region. Then select the region type under Prebuilt Regions. We then want to select FEMA Declared Disaster Regions and then we will use the drop-down list on the bottom to select the disaster area of interest. CBB defaults to the current full month date range. So you may need to adjust the date range depending on the timing of the disaster that you're researching. If you are looking up a disaster from an earlier time period, or you don't see the current disaster in the drop-down list, it is ideal to find and search by the FEMA disaster declaration number, which can be found at FEMA's website at fema.gov. Today, we will select the Rhode Island Severe Storms and Flooding Disaster number 4766 from the pre-built regions menu. We can scroll down through the list or type Rhode Island in the search. In this case, we know that we want 4766, and we can confirm that this is correct when we see the four affected counties for this disaster. Once you are finished with your selections, select the green check mark entitled Save Edits. Data from this disaster area now appears in a user-friendly interactive dashboard. To analyze the impact of this disaster on the supply chain, we can review several categories available through the dashboard and in the CBB business profile by clicking on Top Imports. For example, you can see that the top imports for Rhode Island, sourced from the International Trade Data Program, are ranked here in the dashboard. You can compare the counties in the dashboard by clicking on the drop-down and selecting which county you would like to compare to the other. You can also adjust the variables by tabbing over to the detailed view and swapping the variables of your choice from the menu. You can also unlock more data by generating a CBB business profile. Let's do this by selecting report from the dashboard. The supply chain section provides us with some valuable insights for this geographic area, including the top imports, top impacted economic sectors in terms of employment, and top impacted products. A natural disaster could cause disruption to the products, the imports, as well as the sector's employment for this area. And finally, the demographic and socioeconomic characteristics sections can provide us with a glimpse of the human impact of this disaster. Most variables will have a corresponding time series and geo comparison on the right. These reports are dynamic, and clicking on a variable will automatically bring up a time series and geo comparison for that variable. This will allow us to compare the data between survey years, and we can also compare the current FEMA disaster area to its state and to the nation. In this example, let's select percent in poverty. We can use the graphics on the right to view historic trends as well as compare poverty levels for this area to the state of Rhode Island and to the U.S. We hope you enjoyed learning about CBB's new supply chain data feature. You can also download this report as a CSV or PDF, and you can share it with colleagues by simply copying the URL. For more data gems like this, visit census.gov forward slash academy. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe so you never miss these useful short videos, new courses, and webinars. Thank you again.